Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, um, if you just seen my uh, previous video where I did um, unbox the Corsair H100i and um, previously owned the Corsair H100, so I decided to do a basically a comparison between the two and uh, just do a quick video really so I can show you both coolers side by side so you can really see the difference in uh, the upgrades really from uh, one product to the other. Uh, ignore that box there, but yeah, so there you go. So let's start from the radiator. It's still a 25 mil, still um, all aluminium, and uh, so as far as I can tell, it's only on this part here, slightly higher. I don't know if you can just pick up from the video there, but the radiator is still the same thickness, so it's just the metal bit. So as far as I can tell, is on this new version, which is the H100 High, Corsair has learned. Because once you fit the fans, if the screws are too long, so basically if I get you a screw here, the screw would go through the fan, if the light lets me, and screw in and actually damage the fins. So they then here on this new one, the H100i is, they make this slightly higher with the same screws. So it doesn't go through the fins once you screw your fans in on top of it. So what I mean is, you get your fan there, you put your screw, and the screw will go all the way in, damaging your fins, especially underneath all these bits there. So that's a bonus there, straight away. Uh, another thing you can see straight away is the tubing, uh, compare the both. You can see they're using a uh, thick rubber here, I'm guessing a uh, one quarter inch and a lot thicker so this will uh, obviously uh, allow for a, a bigger airflow compared to this plastic thing which I was never a fan of and uh, obviously this allows it to bend a lot more and make a tight curve with uh, this while well, it was quite a pain with this unit one um, yeah it's still a, obviously a dual 120mm uh, radiator. The pump unit itself was changed. Uh, if you can just see there on the H100, this one here, all you have to do is just a dial, and obviously, it will light up the more um, speed you have the pump and the fans. It will just ramp it up. Obviously, with this one being an I, you do that by the core selling software. And uh, all this does is just lights up to whatever color you want, which is a nice feature. It's just an LED, RGB one. The other side, I'm assuming this is a uh, fill port, something like that, or a drain port. Obviously, we got here the USB for the Corsair Link, so you can connect it to your motherboard. And uh, you got fun connectors here. So, compared to the H100, what powers this pump? This time it's just sat to power. Finally, they decided to to move, and uh, you obviously got here your three pin for powering the unit. While the previous H100, you had the Molex, an ancient Molex, which is still the three pin fan. So they moved the Molex into a SATA. Very good, because let's be honest, with modern. Uh, systems these days they all use SATA now we start moving away from the uh, Molex ok that's fair enough people still use it uh, another thing uh, which they really really improve in my eyes which I haven't fit this into the system I've used it just on a test bench but uh, is the actually mounting system or mechanism you want to call it this is the previous one which if you can just see here Basically, this uh, back bit will go on the back of your motherboard. Then you the screw this uh, long bits here. So you hold this bit in place, and then you just hold the unit yourself with this uh, nuts on top of it. So they address that with this unit. So obviously, you get some screws with that. This goes back of your motherboard. Once it's on the back of your motherboard, you oh sorry my bad. You get this in the pump on the top. It's got a clever. Uh, if I can 
get it on. Magnet. So it just uses a magnet. It's always in place. No more holding this bloody crap like it was with this one. It'll line it all up. It's just a magnet. Bolt into that side there. Some screws. Job done. Lovely, lovely. So uh, there you go. Oh, okay. Uh, another thing compared to H100i, the H100, the fans, they're basically based on the SP fans, which is the static pressure line of uh, fans from Corsair. They just um, they optimize for uh, radiator or um, basically um, static pressure. Uh, jobs which is on this radiator as you can see from the propeller the fans where they are and uh, this is the H100 ones just a standard fan and uh, really really loud don't get me wrong they are good at moving air they are really good I never use them but I know they are good as I um, tested a similar one and uh, they're just loud really loud and while these ones Operator just quieter, a lot quieter, and just move exactly the same move there. If anything, the better. Um, I'm making the air go through the radiator while that I wouldn't say they're really optimized for it. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. So, uh, I just want to do a quick video like this so I can show you the both units. Um, it might be useful to uh, someone else. So, any more questions, use the comment section below. Uh, regarding this uh, two units, as I'm going to keep both. Uh, obviously, the 100 high now is going to go into the my uh, main system, uh, which is going to be replacing the H100. Uh, I uh, also um, logged temperatures from this with uh, a few overclock settings, so I'm going to do also temperatures comparison uh, between the both. So, um, as always, if you haven't already. Um, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out a lot uh, as people have been doing recently on uh, recent days so um, like, share, comment, all that good stuff and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video, see ya